Hey guys, I've had a few people asking me about the sounds that are playing during some of my Mythic Plus runs or what interrupt slash alert add-on that I'm using to uh, assist with my keys. And so today I wanted to make a video to kind of talk about what I'm doing and how you can set it up to help you during your Mythic Plus runs or arenas or whatever content you're doing. So the sounds that are playing whenever an enemy mob is casting something is actually a weak aura that I've got set up for my focus target. So if you've never heard of focus targeting, it's a base WoW UI ability that you have to be able to focus a specific mob, which as you can see, I'm not targeting this wave, but I've got it focused up here. I'm not targeting this splash. My target would be down here, but I've got this churning splash focused. And you can actually see on my plater profile that my focus target has these little lines on them. So I'm not targeting these guys, but they are my focus target. So this is what my target edge splash would look like. This is what my focused wave looks like. And in conjunction with a couple macros, uh, that helps you really, really get a good lock on different Mythic Plus mobs because you can kick a mob without having to have it as your primary target, allowing you to do damage to whatever mob you need to do while still interrupting the very, very important casts. So the couple macros that I've got set up to help with this, first off, the one thing you need to have is a focus at mouse over macro. So what this does is when you press that button, I've got it set to my nine, which is one of my mouse buttons. Uh, it allows you to, without having to select anything, whatever your cursor is over, that becomes your focus target. And then for my hunter specific macros, I've got this uh, focus kick macro. So my normal kick button is shift E. My focus kick macro is over here on control E. So what this does is it will always kick your focus target. So if I'm targeting this splash, I'm trying to kill this splash, but the wave is casting something that I need to kick, I'll kick the wave while being able to damage the splash, which is really, really nice. And you can do this with other CCing abilities as well, such, uh, for example, scatter shot. I have a, a macro for, intimidation I've got a macro for. So these use uh, shift modifiers to be able to, for example, by having it bound to seven is my scatter shot. If I press seven, it'll scatter shot the splash. If I press shift seven, for example, I'm targeting the splash, but I scatter shot the wave. And we gotta get out of combat with these guys. Uh, same thing with intimidation. So known intimidation mod shift, that's what allows you to have the shift uh, ability on it. If I'm pressing shift, it does intimidation on my focus. Otherwise, it just intimidates my main target. And then you heard it a little bit just about uh, 30 seconds ago. I've got a weak aura that lets that plays a sound whenever my focus target is casting something. So uh, presses this sonar if I have a kick available, and it plays this little water drop sound I don't have a kick available. So we can see it in action here. So I'm targeting the splash. Let's say I'm trying to do it, but I need a kick water blast. I press control E and the water blast is kicked, which is really nice. Casting water blast again, you could hear that little water drop sound. And that gives you a lot of control over mythic plus mobs. Uh, like let's say, for example, you're in Halls of Valor and you want to kick the uh, Mystic's heal. But you don't want to kill the Mystic because there's other stuff that you need to kill. You can focus the Mystic, and that will let you CC it, interrupt it, whatever you need to do. So I'll kick it, bam. But I want to kill the Splash. I need to target something first. And... So just by using focuses, uh, you can 
really gain a lot of skill and control and help your mythic plus runs a lot. It's a huge thing that I'd highly recommend setting up. I'll have the uh, texts for all of the macros that I've got, and uh, I've got a link to the weak aura that I made for myself for the sounds as well. If you are not playing Survival Hunter, the weak aura as is will not work. You'll need to go into the triggers and make sure you change trigger one, or uh, make sure you change trigger three, rather, to be whatever interrupt spell you want. Otherwise, it's not going to work because you don't know Mother. So let's say, for example, you're playing Mage. You need to change that to Counter Spell. And then oh, you'll have to find uh, the Wowhead Counter Spell ID. So go to wowhead.com. Search for Counter Spell. And so, for example, I found out that Counter Spell's spell ID is 2139. You can't see uh, what I was searching on Wowhead, but that'll allow you to, to change the ability. I'm just setting it back to muzzle to make sure I don't break anything for the future. But yeah, trigger three, you'll have to change the spell, the spell ID to be... Uh, whatever kick your class is using. Same thing with this interruptible no kick sound. You'll want to change trigger three to have whatever your interrupt ability is. If you've got any more questions for me, feel free to let me know in DMs or uh, reach out to me on the True Shot lo Lounge. That's the Hunter Discord. I'm usually pretty active in the survival section. You can also just leave a comment on the YouTube video if you want me to talk about anything else I've got for my UI. And anyways, I hope you guys can use this knowledge to greatly help yourself.